Hello there, this is Mikhail or Michael speaking, and without further ado, let's jump straight to the changes on the battlefield. First, we will have Bakhmut. So this is the situation of yesterday, and this is the situation of today. First of all, let's touch on the south of Bakhmut first. As you can see, Russians are continuously pushing Ukrainians out of this cauldron. It would seem that they are unable to close it in the attempt of encirclements, and Ukrainians are slowly pulling out, leaving this entire sector for Russians to capture. Now, the information had come in that the Russians are now controlling 70% of the entire city, so the majority of the city has fallen to the Russian forces. Russians are now attacking in this direction and in this directions. As you can see, this is where changes are appearing as of right now. They have finally reached the street of Mariupolska right here and started battling for it. So this position on this map is somewhat accurate. For a better resolution map, I will jump to the map of a Weeb Union. I highly trust this YouTuber and I believe his depictions are as accurate as possible. So here you can see that he reported fighting for the Mariupolska street. As you can see the quality of the map is extremely great. So I will jump from Weeb Union map to Deep State map for a better representation of what I'm talking about. The Russians are now attacking in this direction as well and are fighting near the stadium Avangard. This is reported both by Russian and Ukrainian sources. Overall, Russians are fighting once again in this entire sector, fighting for streets and districts of this part of the city. We will stay on this map for a little while, as I'm gonna have to talk about this sector right here. As you can see by the satellite images, this entire sector of the city is basically only high-rised concrete buildings. This can be problematic for Russians. They had not reached this sector as of right now, but as you can see, they are coming ever close to it from the south. The problem with this is that those buildings are of very high quality and it is very hard to destroy them with artillery. So if Ukrainians will not be willing to give up, Russians will have a hard time capturing this whole sector. Going back to the deep state map, we can see that they had updated some information here as well. So this was situation of yesterday and this is the situation of today. Once again, reports are not stating that Russians had completely captured this entire forested area. Wagnerites themselves are reporting that they are still battling out for the control of this area. However, I believe the depiction of what's going on in the steel plant is somewhat accurate as Wagnerites are still fighting not only for the rest of that plant, but also in the underground tunnel systems. The Russians had reached Kolpakova street just recently, so it is safe to say that Russians are capturing this entire sector, which is, by the way, depicted in the Weeb Union map. So again, very accurate depiction. Russians are also attacking towards the village of Hromove, but as you can see, village of Hromove is narrow and a long one, so Russians are coming very close to the outskirts of that village. No changes had appeared in the north of Bakhmut. Russians are continuously attacking toward the village of Bagdanivka and Khrikharivka, as well as they are attacking towards the village of Arikhova Vasilivka and in the direction of Minikivka along this road. Also no changes in the Seversk front line. Russians are continuously attacking towards Bilakharivka, but as you can see, map did not depict it any changes. The reports are coming in that basically there is position of fighting going on, so nor Russians or Ukrainians are actually trying to do any massive offensives. I suspect we won't see much changes on this front for some time. From here we go to Avdiivka front. The map did not show any changes, but I must say that they are a bit slow. And again, they are slow on purpose. They are waiting for even more confirmations. So I trust them in that regard. A lot of people are been saying nice stuff about Deep State map because they are fairly accurate. And I believe we can trust it. But then again, for a reference, I will use Weeb Union map as well. Because again, I value this map very highly. From the reports that I've studied, the Russians are attacking from Apitne towards the Avdiivka and had actually captured a set of trenches somewhere along this front line. There is one more left somewhere here. 
and after that Russians will enter and start fighting for the Avdivka itself. Russians are also attacking from Vadiane to the Severne and Tonenke village but no gains were reported on this front. Now a lot of changes had happened in the north of Avdiivka. This map again did not depict any of it because these changes happened like literally today and again they reporting like one or two days late for the purposes of not giving real information to the quote enemy unquote and as well as to be sure that that change is credible and they can post it. So basically a lot of sources, some pro-Russians and some pro-Ukrainians are saying that Russians not only punched through here but also pushed Ukrainians back, had now started fighting for this settlement right here and nearly captured the village of Stepove. They're even saying that the battle for this factory was initiated by Russians. So it is safe to say that Russians are somewhere here. If that's the case, Avdiivka is very close to an operational encirclement. We can see that plethora of secondary roads are still going to the Avdiivka. If that's the case, we can see that Russians are not only attacking in the Avdiivka and in the direction of this settlements right here, they are also planning to cut off Ukrainian supplies on the north. You can see some of the roads that lead to the Avdiivka city that can be used and they are operational, but with the capture of this factory, Ukrainians won't be able to use any roads as this road is now very, very close to the Russian positions. So I don't think it is safe to say that the Avdiivka is operationally encircled, but it is very, very close to it. Maybe a few days of fighting and it would be done for. Because again, even if Russia captured Berducci, here is the road that leads right here and Ukrainians can still use it to supply Avdiivka itself. So after that, Russians must strike further. And basically, you can see how step by step, little by little, the entire Ukrainian front right here can collapse and with it the city of Avdiivka. Whether Ukrainians will decide to stay and die or retreat I have no idea. I think they might try and stay and fight Russians as far as they can to stop them from achieving any other significant gains on this front. But once again reports are coming in that Ukrainians had actually moved some of their troops from Avdiivka to Bakhmut city. That's why Russians had decided to attack in the Avdiivka sector as they weren't doing it for some time now. So I think that Avdiivka is becoming the hottest spot in Ukraine just like Bakhmut and we will see some big changes in a few days. I also want to quickly touch on the fact that Russians are concentrating big amount of aircraft near and in Ukraine away from of course the reach of Ukrainian long-range artillery. Again they are maybe preparing for possible Ukrainian counter-offensive in the Bakhmut area so they can destroy Ukrainians on their offensive or maybe they are preparing an offensive of their own. Although I'm not sure where exactly this is going to happen. Maybe in Liman, maybe in Siversk, perhaps in Bakhmut to finish off whatever is left or they might surprise everyone and do it in Avdiivka because we can see that the situation in Avdiivka is quickly deteriorating for the Ukrainian forces. Anyway, this is all I have to say for you. Other fronts had not seen any changes, so there's no reason to touch on them as of right now. I hope you liked my video. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing and commenting as it is good for algorithms. Have a good day and always remember, Russia will be free.